Hello there. Euphoria was one of my favourite TV shows this year. It took the US by storm this summer and sent the internet into a spin with its millennial makeup looks. Zendaya's glitter tear on the Euphoria poster kind of sets the scene. There were hundreds of colourful, glittery editorial looks across the eight episodes. Now I'm usually sharing my love of natural, fresh makeup on my channel, but Euphoria inspired me to step out of my comfort zone, look through my collection, and find pieces I could have fun with in my own way. You can definitely be into minimal makeup, but still play up a bold eye or lip. That's what makeup should be about, having fun, expressing yourself. Sometimes you just need an image, a product, or a person to inspire you. I wanted to start by highlighting those people, the makeup artists and creators who inspire me to experiment and create playful looks that enhance, not change, the way you look. They'll all be linked down below. Doniella Davey and Kirsten Sage Coleman were the amazing makeup artists working on Euphoria, so their Instagram accounts are full of fascinating behind-the-scenes photos and product lists. Then there are artists like Katie Jane Hughes in New York, known for her glossy, glowy skin and editorial eye looks. Or my friend Harry Makes It Up in LA, who's a master of beautiful, fresh skin while introducing pops of colour. Couple of purchases inspired by her here. Violette is another artist I often reference on my channel who incorporates bold brights into her fresh French style so well. And two incredibly talented women I follow on Instagram, Laura Malvina from the UK, who combines colours in vibrant, modern ways, and finally, Maggie Beth Makeup from Australia, whose stunning feed completely captures the spirit of Euphoria makeup. I could scroll through her bright eye looks forever. With the true art of those makeup artists to inspire us, let's get stuck into the Euphoria edit from my collection, plus a few new launches. Breaking it down into glitter, shimmer, brights, eyeliner, eye gloss, and lip gloss. Time to meet my fun makeup side. Glitter and I have had a pretty strained relationship over the years because it just ends up everywhere, but I've found a few shadows that finally got my tick of approval. Rowan Beauty has been so high on my wish list. Celebrity makeup artist Nikki DeRoost's brand is the definition of effortlessly chic, wearable shimmer. I'll be swatching the rest of her range in future, but Disco Eye felt like a perfect fit here. Sort of an eyeshadow topper and it isn't actually glitter, just pearl reflex, but it went in this category anyway. Their unique Lid Loom formula is halfway between a cream and a powder and best applied with your fingers. Bodyography is a brand I've often seen Katie Jane Hughes using and I finally tracked down their glitter pigments in a random local beauty store in New York. Eclipse was the pretty purpley pink that jumped out at me. It's nice and creamy, so not too much fallout. I can see this one with a red lip, like a look Katie's done on Rosie Huntington Whiteley. This hourglass scattered light shadow in Blaze appeared in my Sephora VIB summer sale video a couple of months ago. I snuck in a little mention of Euphoria there and the top comment, the suggestion that convinced me to bump this video up my filming list. Thanks Amelia. This micro glitter gives you a smooth, coppery, glowy eye in one swipe. Interestingly, Bodyography and Hourglass look like they have the same packaging. Let me know if you've ever compared these two more closely. Glossier Play, the sister brand of Glossier, really captures the spirit of being a minimal makeup fan but still having fun with playful products. Glitter Gelée is their eye glitter in a transparent gel base. Bijou Bijou feels very euphoria. Dark, silvery glitter seem to pop up in the show quite a lot. This one has quite fine particles, so it's an overall glittery look, whereas Phantasm has much bigger iridescent specks that you can place in a more deliberate way if you'd prefer. Moving on to Shimmer, which can be really bold or even fairly minimal with a wash of one colour all over the eye. The mother of editorial makeup, Pat McGrath and her idol shadows were an obvious choice here. Pale Fire is a gorgeous light pink I saw on Millie Bobby Brown at the Stranger Things 3 premiere, then Crimson Fire, the holy grail red shimmer shade from her bronze seduction palette. Stunning. These two tubes also check the Euphoria box. The Kosas 10 second shadows launched in July and I'll be swatching every single shade soon, but these two were the best fit for this video. Waterfall is an icy shimmery blue and 333 is a glowy lavender. The formula really is a liquid, not at all creamy, very water light, so I find it applies best if you paint it all over the lid, let it dry slightly, add another layer, let that dry, and then blend the edges. It wouldn't be a bright eyeshadow video without ColourPop. Their products were even used by the artists working on Euphoria. Perfect. Pretty much a one-stop shop for colourful palettes, but the new release Lilac You A Lot feels right. The mixture of pastel mattes and bold shimmers could help to recreate Euphoria looks with a fun, youthful feel. I'll leave a discount code down below, and there's much more ColourPop content to come. These pint-sized palettes are very Euphoria-esque. Huda Beauty's Obsessions palettes come in a great range of brights. I've tried her more muted warm brown and topaz shades before, but I recently picked up Ruby to experiment with. Her shimmer and glitter formulas? Whoa. 
So, so buttery and smooth and bold. Definitely gets a gold star from me. Another eye product from Huda Beauty tempted me. Her matte and metal melted double-ended eyeshadows come in a range of colors, but I went for an autumnal combo. Room Service is a warm brown matte with a doe foot applicator. Then Do Not Disturb is what we're here for today, a gorgeous rose gold glitter with a brush applicator. So you can use this as a liner or smudge it all over the lid. Incredible, the sister brand of Nails Inc. from London is one big euphoria vibe. So many of their different glowy products could have been right at home in this video, but their lid slick eye pigment in the shade Back to 99 is just a knockout. That ruby red is insane. This eye foil is intensely pigmented so a very little bit goes a long way. Quite a lot of the show's looks were achieved with interesting architectural eyeliner and bright graphic strokes. Glossier Play's Color Slide Eye Pencils are perfect for euphoria inspired makeup. I was gonna show you a dark one, but scratch that, these are my go-tos. And they're not just for when you're feeling playful, I honestly wear them on a daily basis. I use Jumbo, the bright orange matte, close to my lash line to bring out the green in my eyes, and the pinky shimmer of Candyland looks great all over. So pretty smudged around the lash line and under the bottom lashes to brighten up your eyes. Marc Jacobs Highliner in Orange Crush has been on my channel before, but sadly it had completely dried out before I even left the store. So I took the plunge, repurchased it and this is more like it. The smooth feel this formula is meant to have. A great bright shimmery orange to freshen up any eye look. This shade is appearing in a much requested celebrity makeup bag video shortly. I have Harry Makes It Up to thank for this next liner. A very out of character bright pink for me but this Fenty Vivid liquid eyeliner looked so good on Harry in a tutorial I'll link below so I've loved recreating it. Unfortunately this is only sold in a trio with a bright green and blue too but hey Euphoria has given us new ways to use those as well. Eye gloss is more of a subtle take on Euphoria makeup. An easy product to swipe on, instantly adding a dewy glow that opens up your eyes. Do they crease? Yep. Do I mind? No. Embrace a lived in look with these. The ultimate eye gloss for me, Gillian Dempsey and her lid tints. So many shades I love, but Dew is a simple classic. It's balmy and glossy with absolutely no shimmer. It just brings your skin to life and catches the light. Another exciting product along these lines is actually launching very soon, so keep a glossy eye on my channel. The Surratt Beauty Lid Lacquers are a more pigmented, creamy option. Hadaka, a luminous, sandy brown, slightly tints the eyes and leaves a lovely summery glow. They also have bolder shades and a red eye love, but I wanted to include a more neutral wearable option. Then the Flesh Flesh Pot, which can do it all, described as glossy goodness for eyes, cheeks and lips. It's a fairly sheer gel-like texture with a slight peach tint and flecks of gold and pink, so it really gives you a summery, reflective shine wherever you want to apply it. Nope, this is not an eye gloss, but I'm into multitasking and this was another Harry Makes It Up suggestion. The YSL Rouge Volupte Shine in the sheer shimmery shade Balm Midi Minuit not only adds a beautiful glow to lips, but can double as a great glossy lit from within highlighter. As a creamy lipstick lover, lip gloss instantly feels like more of a statement for me and I've really gotten back into it in the last couple of months. Lip gloss content later in the year. Glossier brought out two new shades of their classic lip gloss in July and a holographic had to be in this video. Tiny little specks of shimmer give this formula an opalescent glow. It's comfortable and smooth, not sticky or gluey and really catches the light. Now this isn't a gloss but it's a lip shine I love. Glossier Play Vinylic Lip is the brand's high shine lip lacquer that's not gloopy or sticky, just super smooth and balmy with a delicious apricot flavour. Baby is their classic bright red which feels youthful and fresh. I'm a big Charlotte Tilbury fan, but I ventured into lip luster gloss territory for the first time recently. Hannah Martin, the beautiful British makeup artist who's casually done a couple of royal weddings, told me the shade Abitha Nights is one of her favourites, so I bought it that day. A very slight nude tint, mostly sheer with incredible shimmer for a full glamorous pout. Finally, a brand by someone known for glow. Celebrity makeup artist Patrick Tarr brought out his own makeup line in April featuring the Major Glow Lip Shine in three shades. The shade She's an Influencer looks like it would be ridiculously glittery in the tube, but it isn't. Just a hint of peach and serious shine for fuller looking lips. Not something I'd expect to be drawn to, but I was told they were great, given them to try, and here they are. Hope you enjoyed having a look at the more playful side of my makeup personality. Please let me know if you've been watching Euphoria 2, what you thought of it, who your favourite characters were, and make sure you share how and what you use to experiment with makeup. I'd love to hear the colors and textures you incorporate into your routine and the artists that inspire you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.